So if you follow AI news, you hear a lot about OpenAI, ChatGPT, Sam Altman, etc. Well, in July 2023, the AI world is about to collide with the crypto world as Sam Altman and OpenAI launch WorldCoin to help separate humans from AI, to provide a global identification system, and also to help provide resources for people that are displayed by AI. Now, this is a separate project from OpenAI. While Sam Altman is one of the main people on there, as you'll see, the teams are separate and different. And there's a lot of controversy around it. Some people hate it. A lot of people are against it. Edward Snowden, for example, not a fan of this. But it keeps on picking up steam, and we're about to hear some pretty big announcements coming out out of WorldCoin. And I think we're going to see a lot more of what this thing's about, what it actually is, what it's doing, and what we expect to see next. So here's a quick primer about what we know so far. So the world coin is basically three things. It's an ID, it's money, and it's a global payment system. Each unique human will have a unique account that will have some world coin in it. This is going to allow them to transact globally to buy or sell world coins. And also it's going to act as proof that they're a unique human. And eventually it sounds like it might also help with the governance of AI. Sam Altman's hinted that maybe each human will have for example, one vote to see where AI takes us, how to control it, etc. Nothing concrete about that, but that's one of the things that's been mentioned. So a lot of the things you're going to see here is things that are said by Sam Altman and other people involved with the WorldCoin project. This is just what they said. Right now, it's hard to verify what is true, what's not, what's hype, what's marketing. So keep that in mind. Take this with a grain of salt. But this is what has been put out for our, but this is so far what we know about it. So the way they go about providing this ID system to verify that you're a unique human individual is they have this machine called the orb. So here's kind of what that looks like. It looks like the first person in Hong Kong got to be verified. Here it is. Looks like some of these places are Rio, Singapore, Chile. Here they are in Brazil. Here they are in somebody's bathroom, London. Somewhere in here I saw New York was coming soon. Paris, the Louvre. This building with what appears to be a boat un stuck on top of it, that's uh, Singapore. So how it works is that you look into this orb and it scans your eye. The reason they do it is because the eye is a way to make sure that each individual is unique. So each of our eyeballs is unique, similar to how our fingerprints are unique. But it's easier from a technological perspective to just scan your eyeballs. It's easier to get all the details and, and, and store it, etc. So once they scan your eye, they get what's called an iris code. That is going to be the code to identify that individual. Why they didn't call it an ID is beyond me. So the iris code gets stored and only that information is stored. The actual image of your eyeball, that gets deleted off of the device. This, by the way, was the thing that Edward Snowden had the problem with, saying basically, you know, we deleted the scans, yeah, but you have the thing still there. It still matches future eyeballs. And he says, don't catalog eyeballs. And of course, there's tons of stuff that's happening that is there to prevent fraud. So for example, if you have contacts on, there's a whole AI system that seems to be behind the scenes, making sure you don't have co contacts on or some other way of tampering with the device, et cetera. And so once you have that iris code, it generates, that's like your ID, or maybe there's some sort of one-to-one -one other code with it, like a QR code or something. But basically you have some code that is now your ID, your digital wallet, and that allows you to transact on that payment system. By the way, this isn't live yet. The World app, the app behind all of this, you can download it, but once you download, it just has a little countdown screen that says that we're about to be released. So as of this recording, we don't know anything about it, but very soon we're about to find out. But basically, each real human eyeball is going to have a world coin account associated with it, a digital wallet with some world coins in it. Now, this has been growing pretty fast now. There's over 2 million people that have done this. So there's users it's like from all over the world. Looks like they've been not doing it in China and U.S. just yet, but looks like U.S. is rolling out soon. And the people behind it are people you've heard about before. So, of course, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Then we have Blockchain Capital, A16Z, Bain Capital Crypto, Distributed Global. There's Alex Blaney, this guy right here. Adresen Horowitz is in on this. And they're all part of this deal in one way or another. So, and by the way, Sam Altman, I believe, led an investment round way back in the day in Coinbase. So a lot of these people do have some sort of a experience with crypto. Now, Sam Altman has a blog post from a while ago called Moore's Law for Everything. Basically, he talks about how as AI expands, a lot of things are going to change. The cost of human labor is going to drop. The cost of goods and services is going to drop. There's going to be a lot of impact because of this. And by the way, places like Goldman Sachs did put out a report kind of saying some of the similar things about this, saying that 
a quarter of, for example, the U.S. workers could be completely replaced by this generative AI, two-thirds of them will be impacted in some way. And that's not even talking about robots and automation. We're just talking about, and, and physical automation, we're just talking about things like ChatGPT, the generative AI. And so in this post, Sam Altman, for example, proposes something that's, you know, in the past has been called UBI, universal basic income. So the idea that everybody should have a little bit of money just to take care of their needs. He doesn't call it that, but the idea is similar. And so it sounds like this world coin can be a way to make that reality. So whatever the case is, this is where we are. The big announcement is coming soon. Looks like Monday, July 24th, 2023 is when a lot of this will be rolled out. So we'll know a lot more. My take on this is that the AI wave is rolling out and a lot of people are just not ready for what's going to happen for the automation that it will bring. So if, you know, some of the estimates by Goldman Sachs and others are right, you know, we're going to be losing, you know, say between 25 to 75 percent of the global workforce is no longer going to be needed. By the way, Goldman Sachs did not explicitly say that, but that is one of the that is one of the scenarios that they sort of outlined. You know, it goes pretty deep into the numbers. I'm not quoting them exactly, but they are saying that this has the potential for a rapid global change in how the workplace functions. And so when and if that happens, we need a plan. When that happens, if WorldCoin has an all-in-one solutions for everybody to just jump onto, that might be the path of least resistance for, for the governments, for the corporations, for the people. Who's going to say no to this when that time comes? The, the people, the workers, the people, the average people in the U.S.? They're going to say no because they're getting free money. Nobody said no to the stimmies check back you know, in 2020. The corporations will not say no to this because they want people to have money to spend on the goods and services. It's still going to flow up to them anyway. They need that money to continue growing, expanding, and doing their business. You know, the, treasur the treasury pays for everything in the United States, at least. Print more money, spend that money. And the government gets to prevent, you know, riots and all the guillotines from being dusted off. So again, assuming that Sam Altman's correct about sort of the trajectory of this, where this is heading, it seems to me like he's skating to where the puck is going. He's building something that for the rest of us might seem like some weird future fantasy, some just dystopian nightmare. But for him, he might see it as the only way out. And he's building that. So by the time we get there, it'll be ready. But who knows? My question for you, though, is what's your take on this? Would you have your eyeball scanned for some crypto tokens? Do you support giving some assistance to people that are losing jobs permanently to AI? Like, let's say a third of the people permanently lose their jobs in the U.S. or whatever country you're living in. Would you support the government helping them out, covering their basic expenses? Or do you prefer some sort of a Mad Max style showdown? Or do you think this is just nonsense and it's going to be business as usual for the foreseeable future? That's a valid worldview to have. And I hope you're right. But it does... It is beginning to feel like a lot of changes are afoot. It's a, almost as if 2020 knocked us into some weird accelerated timeline or something. But either way, I want to know your thoughts. Comment below and I'll post more info soon as soon as all these announcements are rolled out. Thank you.